Hi guys, and welcome back to Sublime 77, your channel for Lyme disease awareness, education, and inspiration. My name is Regina Stoneham, and I'm a Lyme warrior. Sublime 77. My name is Regina Stoneham, and I'm a Lyme warrior. Sublime 77. Being thankful while having Lyme disease is really hard. Lyme disease makes you feel so alone and makes you feel like you're going crazy and it's really painful and you always have a new symptom every single day and you know when you find out that you have Lyme disease you have to start treatment and that treatment consumes every single day and it's really hard. It's hard to be thankful when you've been given this horrible disease. Why? Why should I be thankful? Why should I be thankful when I've gotten this, this disease that, that can kill me? And it takes so much of my energy. And I can be using that energy to raise my children to spend more time with my husband, to have a job, or to be a better um, mom and wife at home. Why should I be thankful? Well, I'll tell you why. Because if you stay in that mindset, I mean, it's okay to feel that way initially. It's totally okay. But that's a process, right? You can't stay in that mindset. You can't stay in that self-consuming, oh my God, I have Lyme disease. It's all I'm thinking about is Lyme disease and how it's affecting other people and how it's affecting me and why did I get it? I mean, you can't stay there. If you stay there, you're gonna become bitter and you're gonna become an ugly person a sick, ugly person. And the people around you aren't gonna, are, they're not gonna wanna be around you because you're taking them for granted. You're taking their love and them taking care of you for granted. And you don't heal mentally and emotionally. It's not just about the Lyme disease and the spirochetes and everything getting inside of your blood and getting inside, you know. It's not just about that. When you have Lyme disease, you have to start to heal emotionally and mentally. It's something that these little spirochetal demons do is, you know, they, not, they don't just screw up your body, they screw up your emotions too. And so we can choose two paths. We can choose to be bitter and why did this happen to me? And um, I, a very selfish, uh, a very selfish and bitter journey. Or you can choose the journey of, okay, yeah, this happened to me. Um, I felt, I, I felt that way, but what can I do now? And what you can do now is start being thankful, start being grateful for the little things. Um, if you used to be able to jog, you know, an hour a day and now you're laying in bed, that could make, make you upset. That can make you, you know, turn bitter. But then, you know, while you're laying in bed, you can start being grateful that you can actually get up and go to the bathroom. You can walk to the bathroom. You know, being grateful for the little things, you know, having technology, having the opportunity to watch YouTube videos all day or Netflix, little things, and then being grateful for the people that are in your lives. Even if those people kind of drive you nuts sometimes, they're there, they're for you. Thank them, you know? 
and try to think of something special to do for them. Use your art, use your writing, um, write them a poem, uh, use your drawings, draw something for them. You know, use the time that you're held up in bed for something good. For instance, um, I, you know, I've been sick for a really, really long time and I didn't know what it was. And since I found out and I've started treatment about like three or four months ago, I was really happy that I found out what the diagnosis was finally. Um, but then I was really sad because once I found out that I had to go through treatment and it was going to debilitate me, um, at certain points, I wasn't looking forward to that because I have a family to take care of. I have kids, I have a husband, I have a household to run. And so my first, res my first response was, oh my God, I mean, I I'm going to be sick, I'm going to be herxing, I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to be able to take care of my kids, you know, what are we going to do? And I just, you know, I, I kind of went through that why me phase. And then I decided, um, while I was laying in bed, I decided that I was going to turn this around and I was going to use this. To help other people people like me. I know I'm not alone I know I'm not alone I know it I you out there are like me and we are not alone there's a bunch of us that feel the same way so what I decided to do is I decided to start this YouTube channel and I know people are wondering how is she doing a YouTube channel when she's so sick well, first of all, I wear makeup. <laughs> Second of all, I record when I have the most energy, which is usually in the morning. And then all the other stuff, the gobbledygook, the editing and stuff like that, I do in bed on my computer. So I'm, I'm helping others. I am being thankful for the opportunity to help you to inspire you, to make you feel like you're not alone, and to connect. Because I don't wanna feel lonely in this journey. I don't. And I know you don't wanna feel lonely either. So that's what I did to show my gratitude. And I decided, you know, because I'm in bed so much, my, might as well like edit videos and, and learn Final Cut Pro and learn the way YouTube works and to be an inspiration while I'm going on this journey. And guess what? It's made me really, really happy. And I'm still in a lot of pain, but I know that I have the skills and um, I have the drive to be able to do this, to be able to communicate what's going on and to educate and to make people aware of this. And it makes my heart feel so, so good that I can help you. So I just want to close this by saying thank you so much for watching this and feel free to share this video so that other people that have Lyme disease don't feel so alone because loneliness is one of the biggest things that I think we have in this disease. I love you and please start thinking about ways that you can show your gratitude and being thankful. I know you have it in you. You can do it. Go ahead and do it now. Figure it out. Write it down. Start brainstorming. You can do it. What are you good at? If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel and feel free to share it. 